we could. Right, that's foolish, I think. But no. I just don't know when we take off. I mean, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be whenever. Also, not crazy about the other guy. I don't know. I read it. Like This is just rally too much. This is my second second watch here. And uh, I just, this is a wild stock to trade. And this is looking better. It's just kind of very snaily. <clears throat> Okay, so RCL actually had earnings flipped, rallied up all the way up to 75.25, and then kaboomed. So I was capping down. Any questions? Actually, I think a good bullish gap would be good today, but I just didn't like any of them. Actually, like rail is my favorite uh, gap, but it's just too thin. Should trade out on the day, but way too thin. And no volume in this. And this, I don't like this at all. No, I'm just not talking loud. That's all. Mike hasn't been changed at all. I'm just not talking now. I rated IDPI. You can look at that. It rates okay. You can trade it. It's fine. I just think it's rallied a lot this morning. So I, I, I'd rather watch this. I like this better. But they both rate good enough to do, and they both are very well worked. So do whatever you have conviction in. IDPI is a fine watch. It may, it may work. It may rally all morning and then break and just go. I just think it's it just. It's, just rallied a lot. Whoa, look at that. Oh my Lanta. Hold on. I want to snag at this. Did, did that just, was that? Did everybody just see that? Did that print? I don't know if that was an invisible tick. Interesting. Hey, you lost the chart because I moved it off because I wanted to snag it to spy because I don't think that, I don't know if that tick was real, so I wanted to grab it. It may well, I don't, it looks like an invisible tick to me, but I just wanted to grab it. It might be real. This is going to be very spready. Fred Monster here, RCL. All right, we'll see if it was real or not. It'd be interesting. So $70, $70 is the resistance. Could this drop and break and fall off upon it immediately? Yes. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it will at all. So $70.50 now is way too far away, which is what I also said in there. And I'm just not crazy about that at all. Yeah. 
We'll go over the SPY invisible tick in a minute. I mean, not a minute when we're done trading. I'm sorry. That doesn't have any bearing, and that's what we're going to do right in here now. Let's pay attention. We'll go over it later. Okay, don't don't jump the gun. And this stock is a little wild too. Just let it situate itself. 50 cent spread. Just relax. FTR is going and it has no target. Gosh darn it. Here, let's watch FTR. I'll go back to RCL. Let's watch FTR. The target's so small in this, though. Let's do 86 by 502. 86 by 502. 86 by 502 FTR. 86 by 502. And then I'll flip to RCL. Holy crap. No, I'm not in it. No, just wait. Okay, 86 by 502 FTR. And I'll go to RCL in a minute. But that looked like that went into rally. Here, get it. FTR, FTR, get the stop in 502. 502, that's it. Here, this is it, this is it, this is it. I don't want to be any tighter than that. 502, 502, 502. It has to be over five. Quick look at the market, 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 market. Now this broke. This broke. You could have done this. I just didn't like a 50 cent spread, so I, I didn't do it. I didn't do that because of the spread. But here, I didn't put any targets in the room for this, so let's just be realistic. This just has, does not have a big target. 475, 475, and possibly 470. Actually, I'm going to put this up in the middle here. Actually, let me just look at the spread on this. Still, 15 cents. Okay, I'm in STR, stop is over five, it's 502. May get an ad here, I literally, here's what I'm gonna do. Get out of the whole thing at 475, and I didn't do the RCL because it had a 50 cent spread, but it broke. I'm going to call kamikaze on this if you want. 04 by 70. I'm not going to do it. Let's see if it rallies. 04 by 70. It's a kamikaze. There. There it goes. Wow. There's RCL and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did the snail. I did a snail because I didn't like a 50 cent spread in it. But there it goes. There it goes. I'm waiting for it to back up. I may not do it. Okay, FTR, if you didn't do it, you could do it 86, but stop still has to be over the high. 86 by 502. Look at the spread here now. This is still just very spreading. It worked though. Okay, so if this actually resets up again, then I'm probably going to lower the stop on this. And if this ever pushes back, we can we can do it. Here, if anyone did that, though, you got to be out. If anyone did that, you got to be out. This never set up. This doesn't have the volume. This didn't work at all. 
but you got to be, I had to be out of that because anybody did it. And I'm in a snail, but let's just look at the market. Okay, once this, once this hits under 87, we're gonna lower the stop tight over the high. And you can even take more, but it just doesn't have a big target. That's the only reason I didn't really wanna do this right away, so then I, I couldn't be convinced to do our scale. We'll go back and look what the entry on that was though. Uh, we're gonna put the stop. This is a whole new entry if you want to do it. 87 by 97, 87 by 97, but I'm just going to lower the, lower the stop. This is really a snail. Actually, you can take a new entry, 88 by 97. I'm going to wait till it hits 87 or 86 to lower the stop. I'm not going to take any more, but you could do 88 as a new entry by 97 if you didn't do it. The trigger. Taking too long. So as of now, the stop's still 502 for me. This is the mover. Just couldn't couldn't do it with the spread. Did anyone do it? It's set up again. I didn't call this, and I didn't call the exact entry in this. I called the kamikaze, which dropped and broke. I said you had to get out. This was the best gap today, and I just couldn't do it with a 50 cent spread. That was a personal preference decision. Didn't do it. Will did it, okay. So let's see, what it what would it have been? It would have been a dollar. Would have been a dollar stock. Okay, here's FTR. So you could take more if you want right here at 88. And I'm going to wait till it breaks 87, 86 to lower my stop. But if you didn't do this trade, you could do it. It is a baby snail. You can put the stop where I have it right now at 502. I'm going to lower it just in a little bit. It's just a snail. One more break through the loan. We're just going to take it out. Best gap today for the mover and everything was RCO, which I watched and was going to do, but I never thought this spread would be 50 cents in the open. I couldn't do it, but it was a dollar stop. Moved a dollar. It was one R. And this is going to be one R. It's going to, it's going to end up being the same as uh, RCL, except for we would have been out of this. No, you can't do anything with IDC. It's rally too much. Don't short this. It's not going to work. It'll flip over the high. It will open a reverse swoosh. I don't even know why you're asking me to short that. Here it goes. Hold on. Pay attention. Stop. Just, no more talking. So this is going to end up being the same, the same, the same R as RCL, but we would have been out of that already. Here, one more break for the low. Hey, we're going to have to watch 80. This is such a snail. We're going to have a discussion when we're done, though, about a certain sector, which is the rail sector. We're going to have a discussion about, yeah, 80.78. Time of the day is 9.40. Didn't break the low yet. I mean, I know it's going to. This is absolute snail city. Didn't break the low yet. I'm still in it, but wait, I didn't lower the stop though. So. Let's definitely get the stop down. 97 now. 97 now on that and bust. That's it. 97 for FTR. Don't leave it over five. 
it's broke and went down to retest the loan. I didn't get out because I still think it comes in. And let's look at everything else here. I can't, I can't look at anything else really right now because once this breaks low, I'm all out. It's just whatever money we make today, we make. Crap, it didn't break below yet. It's going to know. Just try to stay with it. I know that it will. I know that it will. It's just a sale. And in fact, have your hand at the button because we're going to have to get out like literally when it touches the number. We're not going to be able to wait for the bar to close. Oh, didn't do it yet. We'll go over everything when we're done. I can't can't do any teaching when I'm in a trade. And I just want to get out of this now. But it's going to be the same risk unit as probably RCL. If it actually goes to the target. I don't know if it will or not, though. And even if it does, I don't know if it'll be in it. 941. Spy coming in. I hope everybody got out of it that did that. We'll go over everything when we're done. We'll go over everything in the world when we're done. Look right if it goes over the high of the day. That's the problem. You can be honest if you want, but I mean, I'm trying to get some kind of profit in this to get it going. It hasn't broken through the low yet. RCL was a fast mover, but you had to take it out quick. And if you didn't, it's completely reversed there. So we'll go over that when we're completely out. Okay. Does anybody here live in Germany? Well, we're waiting and watching and thinking. And Will, did you get out of that? Is Will the only one that took it? You you had to get out of it because the move was too big. Don't reshort this. And no one should short this. Let's just do a check around of everything else. Yes, you're out. Okay. This was a bust because it had absolutely no volume in the warning whatsoever. It, it here. This is just good. Mm -hmm. I have no patience. Here this goes. Let's just pay attention to this. I have no patience, but it will get through the low. Is Will the only one that did the RCL? Hold on. What's really funny is that I'm looking at. Now, did anyone short this? There's no setup here. This isn't going to work right. There, there was soft kiss today. There really wasn't a lot of good stuff. You can hear it in my voice, but you know we're we're gonna make some money here. It's just not gonna be a million dollars. At least it's it's profitable. Just wait for it to drop. 
Something we can do. The, the two best gaps, one was super spready and this one was good too, but I knew it was a snail. Actually, the best gap is had just had no volume. At least it's had volume in the morning. 84, here we go. An hour later to move five cents. Doop-a-doop-a-doo. -doo. Actually, yesterday was a monster bar for the stock, which is really funny. 24 cents. Here. <laughs> 24 cents. Dream target, 475. <laughs> Dream target, three cents away. Here, pay attention. I knew this would break the low, but... One more break and this is going to take right? To expect a bounce at 480, 478, 475. I'm surprised Will's the only one that did RCL. Because no one else is, wants to admit it. This is a great stock, though, that you could practice taking sides. This is a Good. This is the exact kind of stock, if you're not used to trading size, you could practice. Like if you would normally trade a thousand shares, this is a great kind of thing to do to practice taking, you know, 3,000 shares or 4,000 shares or 5,000 shares because you're not going to get whipped out. I had this stock at the right place initially. We tighten it up now because it's time of the day, but this is a cheap stock and a good one to practice taking size in for if you're not used to taking size for the new people. <clears throat> Look at that. Where did it go? Seventy fifty? Almost. Jeez. I didn't think this would set up this way. I thought it would have been better if it had flipped. Initially, because this is this, then it wouldn't have done that crap. That was hard this morning. I don't, I don't regret not doing it actually, except for I'm still in this. Here, come on. Look at the volume in this and the, the amount it's moved. That's what's hilariousness. Look at the volume. You would think that there was no volume in this. <laughs> what was the volume yesterday? Here, under the low. Patience is a virtue. I just, just want to get out of this now. <laughs> Look at this. That's crazy. Mm. Wow. I never would have reshorted that, but look at it. All right, let's just stay with this. We got some bread in the market. We're in this. It broke the low. Let's see if we can make at least one R. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. Time of the day is here. Keep going. Back, we could just put an order out at 80 to get us out is what we could do, but there was really next to nothing quality today. Just wait a little bit more. All right, I can answer questions. This isn't this is underway. I just I'm trying to see if we can get something else out of this, but if there was really not a lot to do today for that was quality. I rated a bunch of stuff, but I didn't like things. The the RCL had the best quickest move. I just got put off by the spread. I knew it would have a spread, but I didn't think it'd be fifty cents, and I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. That was a personal preference. But Will did it and made money and got out. It if you didn't get out, you got hurt in that. In fact, I'm certain that some people did get hurt in that. This this uh, 
you know, nobody here because I didn't give the exact call. And then I said, in somewhere in here, get out. I said, in this bar, get out. And then it set up again. I didn't give this call. Look how this, some people probably did this thinking it was going to keep going and look what it did. I mean, people got stopped out here. This is an aggressive rally. It, this is really crappy now. No one got hurt in that, did they? Here, FTR. Some days are small, some days are medium, some days are big. I'll take what you can get. I'll go over why I don't like RDPI. I'll go over that. I'll go over the RCL. I, I'm just trying to pay attention because I do think that once this bounces, whenever this is done into one more push, it'll it'll bounce up again back to our price. So you kind of got to pay attention or put a number out at the number, but I'm, I didn't do that because it could break 80. I almost could do that, but if you have it at 75, though, it may not hit it. If you like one of those other stocks, then do them, but you're not going to convince me to call a trade in something I don't like or even do it. So for those of you that are talking about IDTI or TX, RH, I just don't like them. Not now, you know, 20 minutes into the open here. It looks so good though. Um, I don't really pay attention to anything like that, Gene. He's talking about the bids. There we go. All right. I'm, I'm going to get out of it soon. I wonder if we should just we should just put it at eighty. No, here we go. Woo! This is it. This is somewhere in here, any second I'm getting out of it. Do whatever you want, though. There, I'm out. Done. I'm not told her about. That's it. I made a little. That's it. I don't care. I just don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I have no patience. I just don't care. It didn't go to break 80. It didn't break 75. It's almost 10 o'clock. So I didn't do the RCL. I'm, I have money. It's not a million dollars. It's better than nothing. I'm profitable. Pat myself on the back. I didn't get hurt in RCL. Do whatever you want, though. I just I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through a bounce back up to my price at ten o'clock. It's just stupid. Have no patience. So do whatever you want to do. It's gonna try to keep going. Gosh, I hope we get something good tomorrow. I literally think this could go to four seventy by the end of today, but I have no idea what time. And the bars in the fifteen minute are two big bars for the chart. And it's gonna it's gonna bounce somewhere, and it could bounce right back up to the break even price. It's not doing anything wrong. I just have absolutely no patience, and the time of the day is ten. So the best first mover was RCL, and I got set off by the by the spread. But I just don't want to let this go back up and rally again. So I'm out. Any little green, I took it. 
Here, I'll look at IDTI and then we'll go over everything. Okay, this open and reverse swish. So none of you should be looking at shorting this at all today. Unless for some reason you're absolutely in love with the gap and you think it's gonna work, which, which I'm not. This will hold green today, it will never go red. If you like it, you better tell me why. There's not, go, not one reason to like it. The gap rated good, but you can't just take it into the wind. You have to look at the way it trades. You have to look at the trading action on the live day. Nope, this didn't break 80 yet. Look, look at this. In fact, if you are still in this, I could have done this, but I didn't want to. If you're still in this, then you can put the stop at break even. If it retraces up, you'll be out break even. I wanted to book something, anything, but again, this was just, this actually had a, a big bar in the first bar, and then it was a decent stop, except for this is, just doesn't move that much on the day. So that was the problem. It's really not doing anything wrong with this. It just doesn't move that much in the day. It's the only problem here, and it's low. So if you're still in it, put the stop at break even. Just, just put it right at break even. But I, I'll tell you, you could get out of it. It might bounce back through that and then go break down again, because this is how this is acting. It's a snail. But you wouldn't want to be in anything after 10 and then be up and down and up and down. And I didn't want that to happen. So here, there it goes. Literally, you can put your order out at 480, 478, 475. You can put it out at different places. I'm already out. What's everybody doing with this? I, I, I would take this. If you're still in it, I would take it. It's 10 o'clock. It just had broke down one more time. And six bars in the five minutes. You're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna bounce back. I just don't know where. And I got out of it a little bit before this, but you, you could, I really would get out of this soon. So we have to, you know, we have to make whatever we can. There's nothing we can do. Let's go over RCL though. This is wild today. Look at this crapper. It, this really hurt people. I'm sure if we had to stop here, who knows? I mean, let me just look at this. So it was a 50 cent spread. So if I had done this, I would have sized it a buck, but actually would have been slightly more than a dollar. We would have shorted it here, and I, I don't know where I would have gotten out. I might have actually got out here in this bar. I might have taken this bar and gotten out of this bar. If you didn't, it bounced back, and then it broke again. I don't know where I would have exited this. I have no idea. I, I, there was, uh, the stop <coughs> was so big that I might have taken half out in the same bar I took it or the whole thing. If you got one more breakdown, you were good. This was a valid entry that went one move, but then this is this is actually crazy. So all of this happened and took people out and then it went on to work because the gap was good and it had to sell off and it rated well, but this is ugly. And part of the problem was the way that it opened. It would have been better for it to do this first, but it didn't. And so I couldn't call a second trade in this then after that bounce over the high, but it is a short. And these LTDs, we don't normally do them. The only reason I looked at doing this today is because I like the gap. But then with the spread and the LTD, I, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So some people did, and you made money. And I screamed, get out here. So that was lucky. This is still trying to go a little bit. You could bar by bar to the one-minute chart. You really could have been aggressive here. I just chose not to. But you could have shorted it here, here. You could have You just could have whopped it on with the size, just to make extra money. This just didn't have enough volume. This just didn't do anything right at all. It was a bust. This, as you know, is gonna hold the green today like I explained. This looks absolutely insane. And this was the best gap today. It has a nice red bar, but it has absolutely no volume and you can't trade it ticks and everything else in here. And I was going to do a discussion and a talk on this. Um, let me just grab a cup of coffee and come back and give a lecture. Paul, do you want to talk about anything at all? Was there anything that you did or anything you want to talk about or anything at all? I want to grab a cup of coffee and then come back and do a lecture. I'm going to look at the stuff for tonight. Small day, but better than a loss. Better than doing nothing. Can't complain, not much quality today. I'm gonna to give a little lecture in like five minutes. Do you have anything to say, Paul? Are you there, are you alive? 
Here this goes. This is the exit on this. No, you're not alive, or no, you don't have anything to say. <laughs> Both. Okay. All right. Just give me five minutes. I'll be right back. Of course, this kept going as soon as I got out of it. That happened in WDC last week. All right. Five minute break. Just going to do a quick lecture here and then I'll let everybody go because obviously I'm out of my train. Let me just look at what this is. Oh, you. <laughs> is anyone still in this? Oh, my Lanta. I don't care. I, I, I have no patience. That's. It's still going. <laughs> Did anyone still stay in this? Trader Lexi made $400. That's good, but you know what's really funny? It's still going. It's just falling now. The second I got out of it, it just collapsed. Well, I can take them, that's for sure. Here, it's going to break 70. Oh, my Lanta. I, 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 I have no patience. Oh, Gene's still in it, and it's going to break 70, so you may as well still stay in it. 465 is the next target. Too funny. All right, let's have a lecture. I won't look at that anymore. It was a good call, though. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I um, saw this today, this rail, Freight Car America Incorporated, and, of course, I was like, interesting. I mean, it was too bad we couldn't do it. It was too thin, and overall, in the daily chart, it's okay to trade, and it has the volume now. But in the gap this morning, it was too thin. So you can't take a trade, you know, just with no volume. And, and actually, it didn't even have that much volume in the first bar. And some of the days in here are really thin. Like, look at that one. Some days are 60, 50. I mean, this is too thin. But overall, I thought we'd look at the chart. And I, the reason I thought this was interesting, and then I asked Paul for some coal names. He gave me ACI. If anybody has any other coal, coal uh, stocks, I'd, I'd look at them, the ticker symbols. But look at how this is collapsed. And I thought, gosh, it's interesting, because I just had a discussion with my brother-in-law like two weeks ago. When I, when I was in Pennsylvania, he works for a company that uh, is a German company. That's why I asked if anyone lives in Germany. It's, and uh, he works for a company that manufactures railroad ties. The thing that, that, that you put in the track that makes the, the, the I guess it shifts from one track to the next. And we had a whole big discussion about it, how these companies are doing terrible, that they're going under, that, and then, of course, I get up this morning today and see Freight Car America. I don't know what they do exactly, if they make freight cars or what, what exactly, but it has to do with the same industry and stop gapping down. In fact, was this on earnings? Let me look. Um, hold on. I'm just looking, probably. And I thought, oh, how interesting, because we just had a whole discussion about this industry. And I said, that why? I asked him, let me just look it up. Why is the industry not doing well? You would think, with the cost of gas and everything, that, that things that could travel by rail car, that, that you still have it. I said, is it, is it there not enough tracks in the U.S.? Is there not enough tracks to, to get from one place to the next? Yeah, there is. This is this was earnings, and he said, no, no, no. There's enough, there's enough tracks. He said, there's enough tracks to get from one place to the next. He said, but nobody wants to use them, and he said that uh, it's there's so much regulation with with using the coal um, because of the because of pollution, and it's become a problem. And that the coal companies haven't made the necessary adjustments to spend the money to do the things to the plants to meet the regulations, and a lot of the coal companies are going bankrupt. So I guess look at this. So this is this doesn't exist. I didn't even notice that until now. This is bankrupt, I guess, probably or gone. Let me look it up. Paul gave me that this morning. I didn't even notice it. It doesn't trade anymore. Let me Google online. Probably went bankrupt. Hmm. I can't even find it. And 
Does anybody have any other ticker symbols that are actively trading? One eight two sixteen. Anyways, I thought it was very interesting um, because we just had this discussion, and then I saw this and I thought, what a great gap! And then you look at the chart and look at how it collapsed. I mean, this is absolutely collapsed. Look at that. At one point in 05, it was up over $78 a share, and now it's worth 12.61 today. I mean, that's 11 years ago, but that's that's a plummet. So, and in ACI, I don't know what happened to that. I'm guessing it went bankrupt. And if somebody wants to give me other, any other names, I'll look at them. But so this whole sector is having problems, and I and that and I didn't understand why. And I was like, is there not enough trucks? And he's like, no. There's the competition steers for the people that are left. The main companies are like 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 New York, like where you have the tracks in New York, New Jersey with the rails. He's like, but everyone's sitting and then you can't make any money. And he said the problem is the the regulations, the federal regulations surrounding coal because of the pollution and the companies haven't wanted to spend the money to make the necessary uh things to make it clean burning, but it's hard. I guess there's no he said there, if we could if we could find a way to burn coal cleanly then we would never have to look outside for other energy sources outside of the U.S. I thought that was very interesting. I, I, I thought that was extremely interesting, actually. Oh, I didn't see them. No, I didn't see them. They only looked them up. Oh. A and R, that's done a year ago. BBL, what does BBL do? Convert locomotives to natural gas. He said natural gas, and I didn't even know this because it's a German company. Natural gas, you're not allowed. You can't have. You can't burn natural gas in France in certain places in Europe. I didn't know that. Those of you there in Europe, I had no idea that. He said, in France, you can't have natural gas because it's colorless and odorless. It's not allowed. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Uh, BBL. Let's look at this. Yeah, look at that one. I don't know what they do, but Paul says it's a sector. This is an ADR. ETU. No, this is done. But the point, what I thought was interesting with what he said was that, you know, there's enough coal, like in Virginia, West Virginia, to support the energy of the United States and, and far exceed for years and years, but we can't find a way to clean, a bur clean it, burn, burn it cleanly. It, it causes pollution. This is done. WLT. No, this is done too. Look at all those. That's one, two, three. Is that three or four? That no, it's four. Four that are gone under or bought or sold or whoever, whatever. They don't exist. Um, Dave wants to talk about FDR. Anyways, it was just interesting because I rarely follow sectors, but then when I saw that gap today, and then I had the discussion with my brother-in-law, I thought that was very interesting. I thought that was very interesting. Why did we not get in at, out at 9.42? You could have got out here. You could have gotten out here. It retested the low and it didn't break. You could have done that. I didn't because I just got in it and I was hoping for a big move. As it turns out, it did have a big move, but I lost my patience whatever time that was, I decided to get out. And the closer to 10 o'clock, I lose my patience. This was the first exit if you wanted to get out. I did not get out here because I felt that the gap was good enough to break. At that time, the market wasn't rallying, so I wasn't worried about the market, and we were only up a couple pennies. So I really thought that this move would happen into 10. Instead, it happened after 10. The breakdown in this really happened under 80, and it was right here, right at 10 o'clock. So I wanted to move into 10 instead of broke hard after 10. This was a valid exit. Yes. But I didn't get out because I felt that it could have a bigger move and I wasn't up enough and I was trying to give it a chance and it wasn't whippy and I didn't have the market against me. But this was a valid exit and you could have gotten some out. 
In fact, I think I even said it. I think I even said you can get out some here if you want to. Look at that farm. I, I, that is too funny that I got out where I did though. That's crazy. This actually, that's silly. I'm not gonna talk about it. All right, any questions from anyone about anything at all? Not much else to talk about here today. Boring day. Made money, but not a million dollars. If you stayed in it, you made way more, like if Jean did. RCL, you could have done. I didn't do it, and I wouldn't go back into this. And nothing else worked except for the one we did. And the one we did ended up working huge, but I just didn't stay in it. Okay, now. All right, I'll see you back tomorrow morning. I have no idea what we're going to get. Luck of a draw. Look at the volume's doubled in this now since that breaking down because it was like 10 something and now it's like almost 20. All right, have a good day, everyone. Gator, I've talked about IDTI 17,000 times this morning. I said I didn't like it. It's 1018. Do you think I'm going to like it now if I didn't like it all morning? Or, or you just don't listen to me? <laughs> you just don't listen to me when I talk. The answer is no. This won't go red today. Okie doke. Have a good day.